okay so in this video let's talk about uh, what is agent foo's data library and what what exactly is the problem that it is resolving right so many companies or maybe every company can have uh, their data into two formats right one is the structured data and another one is the unstructured data right so structured data we all know that uh, the data which which is residing into the objects into the tables or into a particular database right where we can uh, put some sql queries or sql queries to fetch the information right but unstructured but fetching information from unstructured data is uh, way much complex right because unstructured data can be it can be uh, of any type right it can be an image it can be a video it can be a chat transcript call transcript or emails or it can be a pdf any type of document right so every company has these type of unstructured data right but uh, every company also wants to utilize this this data to improve their customer call customer service right so that, that's where uh, the agent force data library comes into the picture right so agent force data library uh, is just like a tool which which is used to provide access of these unstructured data directly to your a agent right so let's take an example that i am a customer care executive right a, a human executive right so i am able to see that particular unstructured data i can open any file i can open any image i can open any pdf or video to provide uh, to provide the customer query uh, to provide the answer directly to the customer right but now as a company what i want that my ai agent should also be able to access these uh, pdfs documents or uh, my ai agent uh, should also be able to access the uh, unstructured data right so what i'll do i'll just create one agent force data library and put all the files into that data library right easy it, it is very much easy right it was complex to uh, fetch the information from data uh, from the unstructured data but salesforce uh, that's why we love salesforce right salesforce has made it very much easy to to fetch the information from the agent uh, from the unstructured data right so to create some agent force data libraries first you will have to enable the data cloud in your org but to enable the data cloud in your org first you sh uh, you should have the access of data cloud admin right so if only if you are having a data cloud admin access then only you can uh, enable the data cloud into your salesforce org right so if you want to enable the data cloud first your your user should have a permission set assigned the permission set name is data cloud admin let me just share my screen and show you a demo so i just shared my screen right so first let's go to the user detail right this is my user okay so to uh, to use the agent force data library these are the prerequisites right first your user should have a permission set assigned which is data cloud admin right so in the for this video uh, i have already assigned this permission set which is data cloud admin right and also uh, i have al already enabled the data cloud setup uh, to enable the da data cloud setup uh, uh, what you need to do is you just need to go to the setup uh, let me just uh, go back i show it from scratch right so let's suppose i have uh, assigned a permission set of data cloud admin to my user now i am able to uh, i'm able to set up the data cloud in this org right so to enable the data cloud what you need to do is you just need to go to the setup click on setup and just click uh, just uh, type data cloud here you'll see that data cloud setup home option right so just click on this i have already turned it on uh, here i am getting this screen right but into your org you will find an option of uh, set up data cloud right there there will there would be a toggle right so you just need to turn that on and it will uh, take about uh, 25 to 30 minutes that's why i have already enabled it for this class right so you just need to uh, turn that toggle on after you turn the toggle on you will have to wait for 20 to 30 minutes and then you'll see this type of screen where uh, i'm start i can start using the data cloud right so once that is done you will see an application named as data cloud right 
so once you open this data cloud uh, application here we have so many objects and tabs uh, let's talk about these uh, data stream first of all uh, first first of all we have the data stream object so data stream object is used to bring the data inside the data cloud right and uh, data lake objects we have data lake object data lake object uh, so whatever file or whatever data you bring uh, using the data stream object will reside into this data lake object then we have data model object data explorer einstein studio right uh, and semantic layer there, there are so many uh, so many objects into this uh, data cloud so for now let's skip this part because this is not a data cloud class right now once you have enabled this data cloud into your home instance this is your home instance right uh, so once you have enabled the data cloud into the, your org you just need to go to the home the setup home and just type agent force data library so earlier it was known as Einstein data library, but Salesforce just has changed the name to agent force data library to maintain the uh, branding of agent force, right? So here I have option of uh, creating, I have an option of creating a new data library, right? So let's uh, understand it this way. Agent force data library is nothing but a, but a container, right? So once I click on this new library, I'll create a normal container, right? Now, in this container, I can put as many as file as I want, right? Let's suppose I have 50 files, right? Uh, I have 50 PDF documents, videos, images, any type of file, right? So I can uh, drop those files into this container, into this agent force data library, right? And this library can be used by your AI agent, right? So always keep in mind that one AI agent can only access one data library, right? And into the and one data library can have multiple files, right? So if you want to, uh, if you want, the, uh, if you want your AI agent to access multiple files, what you need to do is create one agent for data library and uh, drop all your files into them, right? You you can create multiple uh, multiple data li libraries into your org, but one AI agent can only access one data library, right? And one data library can have multiple files into it, right? So I'll just go and create this new library. Click on this library uh, and let's say, let's name it as crazy cloud uh, general documents, right? And save it. So once you click on save, uh, you have created a new library, which is a container, right? Now, uh, I just want to drop some uh, files into it, right? So let's say uh, add data source, right? So click on this files. Let's say I'm uploading a file, crazy cloud facts updated. I already have created this uh, crazy cloud uh, FAQs. It's a PDF file. So I'm just uploading it. is taking time okay let me just refresh it it should not take this much time okay so I have created this data library. Let's click on this. And uh, Okay, so the file has been uploaded. Click on done. Right. So you just need to go to the okay. So here I have created one data library. Once you click on this, you'll see that uh, this particular data library has one document, which is crazy cloud facts updated, right? So as soon as you create the data library and upload some documents into it, uh, there are many things which uh, happens into the background, right? So one is that data stream object. Data stream object, we know that it is used to bring some data into the, uh, into the data cloud, right? So here we have AI grounding file ref home, 
so basically data stream uh, this particular object is used to bring the data right then we have uh, the data lake objects here we have some uh, file udmo si chunk these files uh, these uh, objects and these files or uh, these records are created automatically right so this is file udmo chunk w what what does that mean udmo simply means that unstructured data model object right so what hap what really happens is let's suppose you have uh, uploaded one uh, one pdf right now uh, let's suppose that this pdf is having hundreds of pages right so what uh, the what uh, what Salesforce or what Data Cloud will do is, uh, it will just break your document or break your data into smaller chunks so that it uh, so that it is uh, easier to find the correct information, right? So that's why we have uh, chunk records, some indexes record, right? What what is search index, right? Uh, this SI uh, file UDMO SI index SI means search index, right? So here we have a search index uh, uh, object. You click on this you see uh, this record got created right let me just remove this so as soon as you drop any file one record gets created of search index and you see the search index uh, status is in progress so if this status is in progress it means that your ai agent cannot uh, cannot use cannot use this file uh, this pdf file uh, to to fetch the information right you'll have to wait uh, until this status gets ready right uh, and uh, what say the search type is hybrid uh, hybrid what what does that mean so we already have discussed in through the previous video that uh, we have uh, multiple types of searching right the one is uh, keyword searching and another one was semantic search right so keyword search is nothing but uh, when we use soql right so we we Keyword search means that uh, it will look for the exact phrase for the exact keyword into the document, right? But the semantic search means that it will use the uh, it will use the meaning of that keyword and uh, will search into the document, right? So this is what uh, hybrid search means, right? It will either it can use the keyword search or it can use the semantic search, right? Let's go to the Einstein Studio now now we have retrievers and models models are nothing but uh, we we can use predictive model or foundation model or also we can create our own model uh, or do not worry what model is uh, we'll definitely discuss uh, into the next videos but for now let's talk about retrievers retriever is nothing but a tool uh, which is used to fetch the information from your document right so there are two types of retrievers one is the def default retriever and another one is the a file based retriever right so what happens once you upload the uh, upload the document uh, each doc or each data library uh, each data library has uh, its own retriever right so the def uh, let's suppose you have created two data libraries into your org right so both of the data libraries will have their own retrievers right and uh, and uh, we we already have one default retriever right uh, okay so here if you go and remove this so you see uh, one is the default uh, udmo retriever and another one is a file crazy cloud general document retriever right so this particular retriever uh, will only look for the files which are into the crazy cloud general document data library right so this particular retriever will only use that data library to search to search for the information right but the but the default retriever can use all of the data libraries right let's go to the search index and let's see if the status got changed it is still in progress okay we'll wait for few more minutes uh, so that it can be ready right okay so now it is ready uh, as a status right so it means that uh, the file that we have uploaded is now ready for the AI agent to use, right? So I'll just go to the agent for, uh, to the agent that we have created, and I'll just open that Crazy Cloud agent. Okay. 
okay so in the other window let me just open that particular file right okay so let's open this agent into the builder and now what i'll do is i'll just uh, use this particular uh, file uh, or these questions and i'll just ask this agent whether it knows the answer or not right so for now i did not added the data library here right if you go to the data uh, the no data library has been selected for now right so let's try and ask the question uh, let's say do you do you have a youtube channel for free learning right so let me just ask do you have a youtube channel and let's see what uh, it answers right so it says that how can i assist you assist you today uh, let me just ask it again now for now this particular ai agent is not able to access that particular document that's why it is not here uh, it, it cannot answer this question right okay now let's go to the data tab here and select the library crazy cloud general document right so now it says that your data library is ready to use we know that this data library is having a document which can answer this question right so once this data library is assigned to this particular user or this particular ai agent now it can answer uh, the questions which are available into the document right and also we can only uh, we can only add one data library over here right there is no any other option to add multiple data libraries right so let's let me just refresh this and uh, copy this question refresh it and now as we already have this data library set up so let me just ask this question again or uh, let's say Okay, what's the problem with this AI agent? Okay, we did not save it. So we have uh, added this data library, but we did not click on the save button. So let's click on save. And now go to the agent and refresh this. And now let's again ask it that, do you have any YouTube channel? you see so it can answer that you can watch free salesforce tutorials on youtube channel here right and here is the link right so if you click on this link you will just land into this page so how it is okay so how it is able to answer this because we we have uh, a document and this document can be accessible by uh, this ai agent right so that's why uh, we can see the answers correct so this is how you can uh, you can you can use data libraries to allow your AI agents to go through your uh, unstructured data, right? So this is how it works. I hope that was clear. And uh, I don't think anything is missing as part of this agent force data library. Okay, one more thing that uh, if you have, uh, okay, do you have any YouTube channel? So if you have uh, noticed that uh, I have asked that do we have any YouTube channel but the but the document says that do we have a YouTube channel for free learning right so it is using a hybrid search either you can uh, put your same keyword that do you have a YouTube channel for free learning but here we have skipped this for free learning part because uh, because it also uses the semantic search right so the question which I asked that do you have any YouTube channel is the same means the same that uh, it this questions means right so the meaning of my question and the meaning of that uh, question into the document is same right so that's why it is able to answer that question right so yeah that was it uh, i hope that was very much clear to you that uh, what is agent force data library and how to use it